Hey class of 2020. Are you ready to celebrate graduation? We've overcome a lot of challenges to reach this point. Especially in the last two months. We deserve a moment in the spotlight to revel in our accomplishments. DCCD have put together a special event just for us with a special guest, Mark Cuban. Host an online watch party for family and friends. Wear your cap and gown and take lots of pictures and videos and then share them with us digital cd on social media congratulations philip rogers we are history makers be bold dream big stay strong we've got this we got this we got this Hello, thank you for joining me as we make history and celebrate our 2020 Brookhaven College graduates. To get things started, please join me in welcoming our Dallas County Community College District Board Trustee, J.L. Sonny Williams. Good evening, students. I'm Trustee J.L. Sonny Williams representing the Dallas County Community College District Board of Trustees. And I'd like to welcome you to your class of 2020 graduation celebration. To you, I want to say job well done. This is indeed a different kind of graduation, of course. I would all prefer to grant your degrees in person as in years past. This is no ordinary year, as we all know. Circumstances changed the way you college engage you as students, causing your courses to be moved online practically overnight, but with help from the, your professors, staff, and administrators, it happened. Yet you're prepared now more than ever to enter the world having juggled the unthinkable. You fought off fear, the unknown, and worked from home to complete your degree. You've risen against unprecedented odds, and we salute you. As a member of the Board of Trustees, I'm proud to join you and celebrate the theme for your graduation, Making History 2020. We share your success during this unprecedented time as we, as we acknowledge your com accomplishments. As an elected policy-making body, the Board of Trustees is involved in your education at many levels. We approved tuition, taxes, tax rates, 
contracts, purchases, and many other things that go along with running an operation like this. Our core mission, however, is to transform lives and communities through the higher education. That means we want you to, be, to acquire skills and knowledge that help you build a career, earn a good living, support your family, and make positive contributions in your community. Today, as a member of the larger DCCCD family and a trustee responsible for the success of this large family, I also want to congratulate your support system. You know who you are, the moms, the dads, aunts, uncles, husbands, wives, grandparents, children, brothers, sisters. They believed in your and your you the graduate. They could not achieve their dreams without you. On behalf of the DCCCD Board of Trustees, I congratulate our new genera our new graduates as you take your first step forward into a world filled with ch challenges and reward, uh, rewards. You chose to work hard, to persevere, and to earn the title of graduate. Today's your day. Again, job well done. Job well done. Thank you. Hi, congratulations, graduates. This is Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins wishing you uh, the very best as you move to this next phase in your life after this momentous achievement. Graduation this year is different, but it need not be less special because your achievements certainly are uh, and, and your future uh, will be bright. We will get through this. We will grow our economy again. You will get good jobs and your future will be bright because of the a commitment that you've made to your future in getting an education. And you know, you, here's another thing that makes this special. This is the last year of graduating from your individual colleges. Henceforth, um, this will be known as Dallas College and all the colleges will graduate together. So you're an important part of a 55 year legacy uh, of Dallas County Community College District. And this is your day, enjoy your day. And thank you for what you've done for yourself, your families, and our community. Hi, I'm Joe May, Chancellor of the Dallas County Community College District. And I would like to welcome you to this Brookhaven College graduation celebration. This is indeed going to be a different kind of graduation. It may be virtual, but we are no less proud of the way you have committed yourselves to your classes, Stay the course and achieve your dreams. Today, you become a history maker for our district. Almost three million students have walked through our doors to earn a degree or certificate, to take a summer class that will transfer, to continue lifelong learning, or to improve skills for work. After we finish all seven graduations, we will add another 8,000 or so students to our list of alumni. Very soon, our seven colleges will become a single institution, Dallas College. That means that no other students will graduate from the seven individual colleges after tonight. And we are so proud of this history-making class of graduates. And your determination and grit to finish strong will be remembered for years to come. Since our first college opened its doors to students, our mission has been to transform lives and communities through higher education. And our goal is to help you to acquire skills and knowledge that build a career, earn a good living, support your family, and make a positive contribution in your community. We want you to be ready for new jobs and new opportunities. We also want you to be prepared for change. You must be able to adapt to real life situations and you all have proven that you can do just that. Moving to online learning over spring break due to COVID-19 certainly demonstrated how resilient you can be when faced with challenges. With your education at Dallas County Community College, soon to be Dallas College, you have invested wisely in future career tracks that will pay dividends we are only beginning to imagine. While there is no denying you are entering a tough job market, 
The good news is that we've instilled in you an education that works, regardless if your next step is transferring to a university to continue your education or entering the workforce. The education that you received in your time with us is practical, applicable, and highly desired by the region's and the nation's top employers. And we are proud to welcome Dallas Mavericks owner, serial investor, and self-made billionaire, Mark Cuban, is our guest speaker. I hope you will be able to take some of his no-nonsense life advice and optimism to heart. Through your experience with us, you've come to understand that our students form a diverse group of people who can celebrate their differences and learn from each other. This is the real gift of your education. The district's colleges enroll students of all ages and from all walks of life. The students at our seven colleges reflect and represent our diverse communities. The successes that I see every day the overcoming of odds and barriers that might discourage others from pursuing their education is truly awe-inspiring. You, our students, now graduates, are the reason for our existence and an integral part of the diverse social fabric that is Dallas. Go forth, do good, and congratulations. And now, it's my pleasure to introduce our guest speaker, Mark Cuban. Since the age of 12, he has been a natural businessman. Selling garbage bags door to door, the seed was planted early on for what would eventually become lifelong success. And after graduating from Indiana University, Mark moved to Dallas where he created Micro Solutions, a computer consulting service that he sold to CompuServe in 1990. In 1995, he created Broadcast.com, streaming audio over the internet. In just four short years, Broadcast.com would be sold to Yahoo for $5.6 billion. Since his acquisition of the Dallas Mavericks in 2000, he has overseen the Mavs competing in the NBA Finals for the first time in franchise history in 2006 and becoming NBA World Champions in 2011. They are currently listed as one of Ford's most valuable franchises in sports. In addition to the Maz, Mark first appeared as a shark on the ABC show Shark Tank in 2011. He has been a star on the hit show ever since and is an investor in an ever-growing portfolio of small businesses. Mark gives back to the communities that promoted his success through the Mark Cuban Foundation. The Foundation's AI Boot Camps initiative hosts free introduction to AI boot camps for low-income high schoolers starting in Dallas. And we're excited to have Mark join us today and are grateful for his support of this historic graduation. Thank you to all of you for having me as your commencement speaker. This is my first official commencement address, so it's new territory for all of us. And what a crazy year it's been. When you thought about your last year of school, I don't think anybody had this in mind. School can be difficult enough as is at times, let alone when changed by a pandemic, protests, riots, and worse. It's not easy to get through school when not only are your classes shut down, but everything at home and at work is turned upside down as well. Kids, family, health, all thrown up in the air. To be able to juggle all that and get to where you are today is special and amazing. And amazing is exactly what each and every one of you are. Those of you who have entered the Dallas County Community College path have chosen a special path. What I love about the DCCCD is that you're able to make it fit just who you are. It's easy to do what everybody else does. It's hard to find your own path. I know that some people look down on the community college experience. They're wrong. With community college, you get the best of all worlds. You get to learn. You get to learn how to learn. You get to make new friendships that will last a lifetime. And while everybody else is freaking out about how they're going to repay their student loans and wondering whether or not they'll get their money's worth and how old they'll be when they're able to pay off those loans, you don't you know that you have already made a smarter decision about your future than they ever will. Which got me thinking, 
right about now, you should be excited and smiling knowing what a great decision you've made. In fact, smiling is not enough. So wherever you're watching this, whoever you're watching with, your family, your friends, I want you to stand up and do a graduation celebration dance. Right like this, go ahead. I'll wait and I want you to get it on video. Did you get that? Because I know out of that, we've got a few super TikTok superstars in the waiting. Because this is fun. This is supposed to be an exciting moment because you are a trendsetter. You guys are the smart ones. While it took a pandemic for so many other people looking to continue their education to realize that going to a great community college system like the DCCCD is the best approach, you beat them to it. Congratulations. That's worth dancing about. Now, graduation obviously is a reason to celebrate, but it's also a point where we ponder our futures. What are we gonna do next? What kind of job should we get? What kind of job do we want? Can we even get a job given all that's going on? But let me tell you a quick story. You know the last time unemployment was in double digits in the United States? It was the year I graduated from college. And I'm gonna give you the exact same advice that I was given. First, you don't need the perfect job. There is no such thing as a perfect job, but every job is the perfect opportunity to learn. You just paid for an education and now finally you'll get paid to learn. You know what, after I graduated from college, I went through four jobs in three years. My first job was at a bank and lasted nine months. My second job was selling franchise TV repair centers. Seriously, that was my job. That lasted nine months. Then I moved to Dallas, lived in the village, lived six guys in a three bedroom apartment, slept on the floor, didn't have my own room, didn't have my own closet, nothing. Got a job working at night as a bartender till I got a job during the day as a salesperson at a software store. Wanna guess how long that job lasted? Nine months. Some of those jobs I liked, some I didn't, but in every single one of them, even the ones I got fired from, I learned so much that helped me in my future businesses. Sometimes it was learning what not to do, but I still look back at those jobs and smile when I realize how much they helped me. So, second, <laughs> your job doesn't need to be a career. In pro sports, players love to be free agents. That's their chance to take their, their skills and go and find a better situation for themselves. The same applies to you, wherever, whatever your first job is. It's just gonna be the first of many, many stepping stones for you. Third, the most important business skill that you can carry through with you through the rest of your life is a desire to learn. The only certainty we all have in our lives is the uncertainty of what comes next. Just think of all the changes that have taken place in your life from iPhones to apps to cloud computing to a pandemic. Hopefully, this will be the last viral emergency we all will face, but there will always be something new that changes how we live and work. When you have an excitement to always be learning, you always have the ability to adapt and thrive, no matter what comes your way. And finally, we're entering a brave new world. We're going through a complete reset of the world, society in so many respects, who knows all the ways that things are going to change. But what I do know is that there will never be a better time to impact the world. Where there is change, there is opportunity. And in 20 years, we'll look back to the pandemic of 2020 and realize that there were 20, 30, 50 or more world-changing companies, charities, mov movements that were created that just changed everything. And I know that each and every one of you watching this video will have at one point in your life that one idea, that idea that gets you that crazy feeling in your stomach and gets your heart pumping, that one idea that you tell your friends and family about and they love it and they tell you, you gotta do it, you gotta go for it. That one idea that you look up online and no one has done it before. That one idea that you think can change the world. 
And when you get that one idea, I want you to ask yourself one simple question. Why not me? Why can't it be my idea that changes the game, that changes the world? And why can't it be right now? Because the answer is, it can be. It can be you. It can be your idea. It can be your business, your charity, your movement that changes everything. Because as of right now, you are officially a graduate of the D Triple C D. And it's time for each and every one of you to go for it and be who you are destined to be. Thanks, everybody. Stay safe. Hello, Dallas County Community Colleges. This is Kari Payton. I play King Ezekiel on The Walking Dead. I'm also Cyborg from Teen Titans and Teen Titans Go. Booyah! And all that good stuff. I'm also Rafiki sometime, you know. So if you want that, you can also have a little bit of that. That's who I am. I wanted to say congratulations on your graduation. So proud of you guys. Get out there and do your thing. The world needs you. Lord knows we all need you. Get out there and do it. Take care. This year's graduation is like none we have experienced in our history. Graduation is a time when we come together with family, friends, faculty, and fellow students to celebrate this great accomplishment. And for 40 plus years, that is exactly what we have done at Brookhaven. But COVID-19 turned our world upside down and changed everything. Graduates, when you started your educational journey with us, I know you never expected this event to take place virtually. Believe me, I didn't either. Whether you're the first in your family to graduate from college or someone who returned to college to expand your career opportunities, you've been forced to adjust almost every aspect of your life. You didn't run away from the unexpected challenge of all your classes shifting to online, Instead, you displayed true grit and determination. You were driven to finish what you started. You wanted to make history and you did it. By staying the course, you have exhibited exactly the kind of resiliency the world needs right now. You finished your classes while caring for your family members, worrying about your jobs, homeschooling your children, and yet, through all those challenges, you are here. You are a college graduate. Since spring break, you've been challenged to rethink the whole idea of normal. And this is probably not the last time your traditional way of thinking will have to shift. Life is an unending cycle of change. Life will continue to offer you opportunities to change and grow by giving you more challenges to conquer. Whenever you start to feel restless or bored or in search of something more in your career, embrace the opportunity to shift. Dr. Brene Brown, research professor at the University of Houston and New York Times bestselling author, says, it's not about what can I accomplish, but what do I want to accomplish? That's a paradigm shift, a shift in how you view things how you think about things. You now have the knowledge and skills to take the next step. And whether you continue your education or join the workforce, I urge you to stay focused on your goals. Now that you're a college graduate, what else do you want to accomplish? The perseverance and passion that got you here will serve you well as you move to the next phase of your life. So let's talk about another reason this graduation is like no other. Today, we are celebrating the 1,100 students who make up the last class that will ever graduate from Brookhaven College. Soon, the seven colleges of the Dallas County Community College District will become a single institution, Dallas College. You are the final graduating class from Brookhaven, so you are truly making history. I want to take a moment to recognize the families and friends of our graduates as well. I appreciate the support you have provided, the sacrifices you have made, and the crucial role you have played in helping these graduates in this phase of their journey. I know you are so incredibly proud of them. 
and on behalf of all our employees, to this final Brookhaven College graduating class, thank you for trusting us to help you fulfill your dreams. It has been our honor to serve you. And even though we can't be together in person, we are still celebrating with you. As you begin this next phase of your journey, remember that you will always be part of the Brookhaven family and a member of Bear Nation. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Now go out and change the world. Good morning. Let me first start off by saying that I know this isn't the commencement ceremony many of us were expecting or hoping for. But just because we aren't able to meet in person today does not make what each of us has accomplished any less extraordinary, and it does not make this moment any less special. Many of us are sitting at home right now, tuning in with our families, gathered around perhaps a single screen to celebrate this moment. And even though we may be miles apart from each other right now, I am so thankful that DCCCD was able to make this possible. With that being said, I want to congratulate each of you for having come this far in your educational journey. The journey to get here today to reach this moment was by no means easy. Just think about all those late nights you spent working on discussion boards, lab reports, essays, or studying to make sure you passed that class. Not to mention the fact that some of you may have had to take care of kids, work incredibly late nights or long shifts, or were directly impacted by an accident, tragedy, or disaster along the way. The incredible thing, though, about DCCCD is that regardless of all the adversity and challenges you may have faced to get here, all of us tuning in today, in one way or another, are proof that the affordability, flexibility, and proximity of the Dallas County Community Colleges make obtaining a higher education possible. My experience at Brookhaven this past year has been an amazing journey, to say the least. I went from being an ordinary student to a person Executive Vice Chancellor Dr. Justin Lawnen called Mr. Brookhaven seemingly overnight. I became an officer of Alpha Delta Pi, which is Brookhaven's Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society chapter. I became parliamentarian and then vice president of Brookhaven Student Government Association. And in my free time, I gave tours of campus as a volunteer peer leader. I got the chance to travel to different places across the country almost every corner of the state, and even Salzburg, Austria, where I got the chance to listen to some of the most knowledgeable and influential speakers, and to represent Brookhaven, DCCCD, and the organizations I was a part of. DCCCD has given me the opportunities of a lifetime to broaden my horizons, and to grow as a leader, an intellectual, and as a person, both inside and outside the classroom. And I am so incredibly thankful. Most importantly, though, like many of you, I met so many amazing people during my time at Brookhaven, some of whom I'm grateful to call my friends. I'm even more grateful to say that I've made the kinds of friendships that will last a lifetime. It's still hard for me to believe that my time at Brookhaven has come to an end. But in many ways, this moment is symbolic of new beginnings. This year, 2020, not only marks the first year of a brand new decade, it also marks the first year of the next chapter of our lives. Some of you are going to continue your education at a four-year institution, head into the workforce, get a better job, or even start a small business. Now with everything that's happened in the world recently, it's understandable that you might not have the most positive outlook on the future right now, and that's okay. But in spite of everything that's been going on, I'm still optimistic about the future. It may seem like you have no power or control when it comes to shaping your future and the world around you, but if the last decade taught us anything, it's that ordinary people like you and me have the power to make a difference in big ways. In August 2018, a young Swedish girl by the name of Greta Thunberg took it upon herself to start protesting outside the Swedish parliament building for action on climate change. Eventually, she convinced some of her friends to start doing the same, and then they convinced some of their friends. Soon enough, these protests were taking place all over Sweden, then all over Europe, and eventually all over the world. And on September 23rd, 2019, we held our very own protest at Brookhaven College. 
Regardless of whatever is happening in the world, it's important that we never lose sight that each of us plays an important role in trying to make it a better place. So, regardless of where all of you end up, I want to encourage all of you to do your part, and I want to wish you all the best of luck. Thank you. Dr. May, distinguished guests, members of the faculty and staff, graduates, families, and friends, I present the candidates for the Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, Associate of Applied Sciences, and Certificates in Career Programs.
by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and the Chancellor of the Dallas County Community College District, and contingent upon successful completion of all coursework, I hereby confer upon you the degrees of Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, Associate of Applied Science, Associate of Arts in Teaching, Certificates and Skills Achievement Awards. Hi, I'm Victoria Niavis, State Representative. To the graduating class of 2020, you are resilient and will carry with you a legacy of strength in the face of adversity. You will shape the future of our nation and can change the world. Felicidades, congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Braddy and Brookhaven College campus leadership for inviting me to speak today. I am honored to do so. Graduates, family, friends, and Bear community, today we celebrate your accomplishments as a Brookhaven College graduate of the class of 2020. Although this graduation may look a little bit different than what you initially envisioned, it is no less special or amazing. You have accomplished what you set out to do. You completed your degree. Now you're ready to move on to the next chapter of your life. I hope you take a moment to consider what really drives your happiness and choose a path that incorporates your joy into your professional and personal life. Continue to seek out learning experiences that will contribute to this. Most importantly, never stop learning. American statesman, author, inventor, and patriot Benjamin Franklin once said, the noblest question in the world is, what good may I do in it? Graduates, I ask you to find your good in the world, know your worth, and share your talents with the greater community. You have so many qualities the world needs, and we look to each and every one of you to contribute to the good of our community, our society, and the world as a whole. On behalf of the faculty of Brookhaven College, I proudly extend a huge congratulations to each and every one of you as you celebrate and cherish this milestone. We are so proud of you and wish you happiness, health, and every good thing life has to offer. Thank you for sharing your journey with us. And thank you for participating in our virtual college graduation. Congratulations, class of 2020. I am so proud of you for hanging in there through this pandemic and making it to graduation. Congratulations, Brick Haven Bears. We are so proud of you um, and you deserve it. The hard work has paid off. It's your graduation day. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You made it to your special day. You worked hard and I could not be more proud of you. Good luck with your next adventure. A quick word of congratulations on this day that you'll never forget. Congratulations. And a reminder, don't forget to stay in touch with your faculty and professors. We love hearing from former students. Congrats to everyone graduating and could not be more excited for you. This was well deserved. And let me be one of the first to welcome you as official alumni of Brookhaven College. Graduation is not only a time to celebrate your accomplishment, but a time to look forward to what tomorrow brings. May all your dreams come true. Congratulations. Graduates. Hey, it's Professor Lindley. I don't have my regalia, but I do have this top hat, which may or may not have a rabbit in it. It's my son's. Congratulations. You all just did some magic of your own. We're very proud of you. Brookhaven class of 2020, congratulations on your graduation. May you have continued success. Congratulations to our Brookhaven graduates. It's been a pleasure being a part of your life journey. You are ready for your next big step. Best of luck to all of you. A lot of people dream about going to college and getting a degree, but you guys have actually made it happen under really difficult circumstances, so you should be very proud of yourselves. I wish we could celebrate together. I also wish you luck in your future endeavors. Congratulating all 2020 Brookhaven College graduates. The future is yours. Simply die here.